Hello everyone, it's Jim Ludwig, the founder of Main Street Financial Planning, and I'm starting a series of 21 mistakes that retirees, pre-retirees, and almost anyone should avoid. So today we're starting off with a risky mistake, overspending. So what does that mean when we talk about overspending? Well, there's some identifying traits that come from overspending because people think they're going to run out of money from month to month or year to year. And usually there's some telltale signs. One of them, in my experience, is too many credit cards. People can't keep track of their spending. They don't know what they're spending. They have some great credit cards. They get airline miles. They get 0% for a year. But that is usually a symptom of overspending. Another symptom are frequent and large ATM withdrawals. People don't know what they spend their money on. They know uh, when they reach a limit, they run out of money. But too many ATM withdrawals and spending too much cash and not knowing where it's going for are usually a sign of overspending. Uh, one of the features of overspending are usually people that are impulse buyers. Uh, they might watch television and buy stuff and say, well, I'll try it on and return it, but they somehow don't do that. They also tend to buy uh, costly gifts for people. Overspenders do that. They, it's sort of like I want to buy love or something. So they spend a lot of money and uh, one of the other uh, traits that we see are holiday splurges where people spend a lot of money around the holidays and then January comes and boy do those bills look terrible. So how can you avoid overspending? Well, we've got a list of certain things. First of all, you can practice measure twice, cut once. That's what the carpenters do. So before you buy something, Think about it at least a couple of times. You can also have the 24 hour waiting period. So you look at something, you really want it. Let's uh, get up tomorrow morning and we'll see uh, if we feel the same way. Another feature to counteract overspending is to make gifts and not buy them. Uh, a practitioner I know very well my whole life has been my wife, is my, my wife, <laughs> my wife and my sister who both like to make gifts and they don't want to uh, spend too much money buying. Another idea that we've had over the years is have a solo limit. In other words, if there's a, if you're a couple, you agree on having a discussion of how much should we spend solo before we have to have discussion about it. We've used one. Uh, for a lot of years that was uh, $200. So think about those things that you can do to counteract overspending. Now tomorrow, we're gonna have a fearful mistake and that's gonna be underspending. See you then.